All right, all right. I know what you guys are screaming at the screen. It was Michael Myers, you brain-dead idiot. Well, of course I know that, and you know that, because we have seen the film. But do you know who hasn't seen this film? Linda. So Linda Vanderklok, that's a mouthful, is a 17-year-old happy-go-lucky cheerleader who has a very limited vocabulary. You know, it's totally insane. I'll be totally wiped out. I totally never show. Totally charged. And totally. Totally. Totally silly. Yeah, it's totally dark. She's totally not here. She's not a great sister. What time tonight? But she's a pretty great girlfriend. See anything you like? You know, if you're a horny teenage boy, and oh boy, are these teenagers. Are they really teenagers? Anyway, the teenage boys in this sure are horny. So horny, they have premature ejaculation followed by premature evacuation. On Halloween night, after getting out of trick or treats for Bob, Funny. she borrows Lori's silk blouse. I was kind of hoping that uh, you'd lend me that silk blouse that you got on your birthday. And promises she won't rip it. Promise me you won't rip it. I totally promise. Okay, first I rip your clothes off. I don't rip my blouse, it's expensive, idiot. And then she meets up with Bob, a very questionable pick for a cheerleader who can seemingly have anyone she wants. Then you rip my clothes off, then we rip Lindsay's clothes off. I mean, what the fuck is up with that line? Like, no, like seriously, like, did he think that was Annie? Like, is he mixing her up with Annie? I'm just gonna say he's mixing her up with Annie. After drinking and driving up to a stranger's house, they fumble their way out of a van, leaving the car door open and beer cans scattered everywhere. <laughs> Once inside, they decide to go straight to business without checking if there's any kids in the house or shit, if they're even in the right house. After they tire out from all the dry humping, Linda finds out that Lindsay is gone for the night. Guess he won't be ripping her clothes off after all, Bob. Oh, and I can't keep you interested, huh? But no matter, they head up the stairs for Linda to get Bob's ghost. Whatever the fuck that means. What's the matter? Can I get your ghost, Bob? But joke's on you, Linda. The only one who's getting Bob's ghost tonight is Michael. After the fantastic two seconds that Bob treats her to. Fantastic. Bob is off for beers, and this is the last time she'll ever see him. But only we, the audience, knows that. Bob then encounters Michael and lasts about as long as he usually does. We finally get to the scene in question where Michael is now wearing the iconic ghost costume. But who does Linda think is under that costume? Cute, Bob, real cute. While Linda is doing her famous squealing, <laughs> She's probably wondering, why is my boyfriend trying to kill me after I just satisfied him? Is he trying to get my ghost? But yeah, Linda dies thinking that her boyfriend, not an escaped mental patient, is killing her. You see that face? That's the face of betrayal. Poor Linda. She definitely didn't deserve to go out like that. Bob, on the other hand? Then we rip Lindsay's clothes off. Hmm... 